Alright, this is uh, my screencast assignment for um, section section 11. It's conservation of rotational energy. And basically, um, it asked me how different objects are going to roll down the, si the same ramp and how far they go. And if, and if mass and radius changing those matter at all. So basically, the general principle equation is MGH which is potential equals one half mv squared plus one half iw squared and this is um, linear and this is for rotational so basically you just plug in you plug in i for each of the <coughs> four different um, objects asked to find <coughs> and then you realize after plug and chug through these equations that mass and radius don't matter because they just cancel out and the only thing that really matters is the height and they're all at the same height on the ramp and I is the only really thing that matters so the one that goes the farthest is a solid spear here <coughs> and it's got a velocity of the square root of 10 over 7 times gh and if you were to plug in say one for the height that would uh, for each of these it would give you 1.4 so that that is the highest velocity second highest velocity is the hollow spear or my bad <clears throat> the solid disc is the next one which has a velocity of the square root of 4 over 3 <clears throat> times gh which is 1.3 and then in third place we have <clears throat> the hollow spear and then the, s the lowest velocity would be the hollow disc so like I was saying before through plug and chug you're able to get rid of mass and radius and the only thing that matters is basically the eye the moment of inertia and the height <clears throat> so since they're all at the same height only eye matters and I guess I'll conclude by saying the solid spear goes the farthest Solid objects have a greater. Let me see if I'm right. Why saying that real quick? Have a greater moment of inertia. Let's see if I. Yeah. All right.